Welcome to Azizi, which is a medieval town. I'm making my way up to a fort, which is at the very top of this hill, and you've got great views of the surrounding countryside and the town itself. Azizi is a town for wandering and exploring. Its narrow and steep lanes are picturesque and conceal plenty of surprises. The grandest church in Azizi is the Basilica di San Francesco, built in honor of the saint. V San Francesco is the road named after the saint. It's the town's main street and many interesting buildings are dotted along the way. Here you can find the museum and the town's art gallery. The Rocca Majore is a climb, but was it worth it? I've got to the top, it was well worth it. Just look at the view. What did my fellow ledger guests make of Assisi? I liked about Assisi was just miles and miles of streets. It was beautiful. The actual scenery and the view from the top of the hill, the actual uh, monastery, the church, well. were fantastic. Really nice. Really nice. All the quaint little archways. Archways. The walk up to the top, absolutely gorgeous. Really good. The church and Assisi were absolutely beautiful. I have to say that Assisi is probably one of my favourite Italian towns because you can just come here, get yourself lost in the small meandering streets, have a coffee and then come to the Basilica afterwards just to while away the afternoon. Whatever you choose to do in this town, you're going to have a fantastic time. But one thing I would recommend, if you can stomach it, is making the march up to the top of the medieval fort and having a look at some of the most wonderful views on offer. Welcome to Santa Maria. Let me just give you a bit of geography. Behind me in that direction is Assisi, and I'm in front of the Basilica here at Santa Maria. It's absolutely beautiful, this building, built in the 16th century. And you'll see plenty of these around Italy, but this one is particularly special. It's where St. Francis died. It's also where St. Clair became a nun. Lots of stories inside, which I'm sure that you'll love. The outside of this wonderful building is a taster of what's to come inside. Lining the walls are the most beautiful paintings. It's a place of calm and reflection, a wonder to behold. The big pity for us is I'd love to show you inside, but you'd actually have to come to Italy with Ledger to see it because we're not allowed to film inside some of these beautiful buildings. So I'll tell you some of the stories, but to see it and all its beauty, you'll have to come and join us here in Italy. St Francis has a thornless rose named in his honour. The scent of the flower linger around the basilica at certain times of the year. Monks can be seen going about their daily duties. The atmosphere is truly special. 